This is how I configured my MacBook Pro late 2009 to boot both macOS Ventura and Linux Mint 22. I did this in a bid to give new life to my 15 plus year old MacBook Pro. The first step was to install macOS Ventura on this device with the help of OpenCore Legacy Patcher, which is a free patching software that makes it possible to install the latest versions of macOS on select Mac devices that are no longer supported by Apple. If you are interested in the details of the installation of macOS Ventura to this device, kindly check in the video description. After the successful installation of macOS Ventura, I open Dix Utility and ensure that the main storage is selected. I click Partition. I click the plus button to add a new partition. I select Add Partition. I name the new partition and I click Apply. I click Partition and I click Continue. The changes are applied and this lasted for about 160 seconds. I close this utility and proceed to shut down the system. At this point, I had already created my Linux Mint 22 installation media. If you are interested in how this was done, kindly check in the video description. I reboot the device and hold down on the Options key to boot from the Linux Mint installation media. I select the first option to boot to Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon desktop environment. On the desktop, I double click to install Linux Mint to proceed with the installation of Linux Mint 22. I select my language and keyboard layout. I tick Install Multimedia Codecs and click Continue. On this page, I select Something Else and click Continue. I can see the two partitions currently available on the disk shown in yellow and orange. I scroll in the box below to select SDA3 which is the new partition I created in macOS Ventura. And I click Change. In the Use As box, I select EXT2 File System and I tick Format the Partition. I select Forward Slash Under Mount Point. I click Install Now and I click Continue to proceed with the installation. I enter a few more basic information like my location and password and allow the system to do its thing. The installation lasted for about 19 minutes and I am prompted to restart the device. With the device configured this way, I could easily boot to Linux Mint as seen here and hold down on the Options key when I desired to boot to macOS Ventura. However, when attempting to boot back to Linux Mint using the Options key, Linux Mint failed to boot. And attempting to force a boot using the installation USB brings up this error which indicates that the Linux Mint installation was somehow corrupted and hence requires a fresh installation of the Linux Mint operating system. To ensure that this does not reoccur, I boot once more from the installation USB after the first installation of Linux Mint and I rerun the installation afresh. However, this time around, when I get to this step, I select Install Linux Mint 22 alongside Linux Mint 22 Wilma. On this page, I select the Advanced Partitioning tool and scroll down to select the whole second partition. I click Change and select EXT2 File System in the Use As box and I tick Format the Partition. 
I select forward slash in the mount point box and click OK and continue. I click install now to proceed with the rest of the installation. I am prompted to restart the system when the installation is completed and I remove the installation USB when prompted. Linux Mint is now running fine alongside macOS Ventura on this MacBook Pro late 2009. And whenever I boot the system, I simply hold down the options key and select the operating system that I desire to boot from. I did not experience any more errors that prevented me from booting up the Linux Mint operating system right after booting up Mac OS Ventura on this device. And I'm really glad about this. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you have any questions or insights about this installation, kindly leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye for now.